You are watching The Daily Decrypt. Welcome to Currency Competition. I'm your host, Amanda, and today's on-site episode is brought to you by Node40. As mentioned before, here on The Daily Decrypt, the Free State Project is a group of people in New Hampshire who have been seeking to get 20,000 people to move to New Hampshire to basically embrace freer lifestyles together. And today they have a big announcement. Let's take a look. We did it. Today I'm here to announce that the Free State Project has officially triggered the move and that participants need to come home. You have five years from today, February 3rd, 2016, to come help build the world's first intentional liberty community. As you may know, CryptoCoins News has already named New Hampshire the Bitcoin capital of America. And so with the 2,000 people who've already moved for this project, plus whatever percentage of the 18,000 signers that remain, it may become the Bitcoin capital of the world. Let us see what people here really think about cryptocurrencies. Are you a mover for the Free State Project? Yes. Are you a Free State Project mover? I am. Yes, I am. I am. Yes, I am a mover of the Free State Project. Yes, I'm an early mover. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are you? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes. I am a mover. I moved in, uh, mover number 50, moved in 2004. I am? Yes, I've been here since uh, August, of, no, January of 2013. I am. Uh, yes, we are. Are either of you an early mover of the Free State Project? Nope. Nope. Are I you? Am. You yes. are? I am an early mover for the Free State Project. Yes, I am. I'm a native. Yes. Yes. I am. Have you ever heard of any cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin? Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, all the, all of them. Have you ever heard of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Sure, I have. I did. I do. I, I, I talk about Bitcoin. I'm from uh, podcast New Cash Radio. Of course, I have. Of course, yeah. Absolutely. Yep. I follow the uh, the prices up and down every day. Um. Yes, I use them frequently. Yes, I have some. Me too. I use it regularly. Yes. I own some myself. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I actually have a wallet myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love Bitcoin. I have it on my phone. Yes, I have. Yes. Yes. Have you heard of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin? Ooh, yes. I actually am building a company that uh, integrates them, so yes. Of course, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of them? I think it's a great way to do transactions with other people and keep the government out of it so that we can live a freer, uh, live freer in our communities. I think it's probably the best way to take down all the governments of the world in a peaceful fashion in a very short period of time. Pro-peace then, huh? Yes. I think the blockchain, blockchain technology is amazing. Um, I think there's things that we haven't realized that we're going to use it for yet that's going to change everything. If I have some Bitcoin, I wish I had more. I want lots and lots of it. And um, it's really easy because I don't have to drive to the bank to get money. I think they're a marvelous uh, alternative to fiat currency. Yeah, I think it's the wave of the future, really. I don't know. I'm still on the fence. Yeah. I need to watch some more of your stuff because I'm, I'm curious, but... <laughs> power in the hands of the people who actually earn the money. It's the future. Once the uh, the wallets and the exchanges things, uh, you know, smooth out so that an average person can use it, uh, it's just going to be the, the way to go. Uh, I use it to pay for membership in uh, clubs. I use it to um, buy things at the local stores, uh, to buy burgers, to buy restaurant and meals and that sort of thing. Here in, in Manchester, New Hampshire? In New Hampshire. There are several places in New Hampshire that take Bitcoin, yes. I'm on the fence about them. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm still looking into the question of, oh God, what would you call it, you know, inherent value. So I recognize, of course, that FRNs don't have any inherent value in gold. By that mean you mean dollars? Yes, dollars. A way to feel safe about the money I'm using and um, do what I want with. I take Bitcoin for payment often. I do not own any yet. 
I don't have a personal Bitcoin account, but I'm the treasurer of the Free State Project, and we do accept Bitcoin for donations and uh, for also event admission. So we actively work with Bitcoin. I think they're super great. I think it's going to allow us to build an entire society outside of government control, and uh, we have the manpower here to do it, and we're going to do it. I think they're awesome. I think they're a great alternative to the Federal Reserve System. And have you heard of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, for example? I started doing web hosting for Bitcoin for three, three Bitcoin a month. I have heard of it and I've used it. <laughs> I first heard of it at Liberty Forum here in New Hampshire in 2013. I've used it. My nonprofit accepts it, so it's great. I would say that's some deep Bitcoin penetration. <laughs> Today's episode has been brought to you by Node40, which is a hosting provider for Dash's master nodes. Node40 takes care of the software configuration, the hardware, and the bandwidth required to get paid to run a Dash master node. They've already integrated with Dash Evolution. Check them out at node40.com. And if you liked today's coverage, you'll really like when we attend New Hampshire's Liberty Forum in two weeks from now. Stay tuned, my friends.